y'all, I want to try this a different way. Welcome back to Astro Liz. Uh, I'm going to be doing Venus in Cancer readings, and that is actually from this month. It just started yesterday, I believe May, May 6 or 7. It's going to be around until June 5th. For those who have Venus in Cancer, this is your Venus return. Shout out to everybody. And so I'm going to do, it's still going to be by the signs, but you pick the card. And I will just pull two oracle cards for it. And so that's what we're going to do. So this is for mutables. That is um, Pisces, Virgo, Gemini and Sagittarius, okay? So, I've been shuffling these while we spoke. Um, card one, card two, and card three, okay? So, card one has the dragon on top, card two has a little labradorite dude on there and three is the owl i'm gonna give you some time to choose i also wanted to share that if you're looking to protect your vibe this is um dragon's blood sage and we just added it to the shop and i'm always adding new things so um feel free to check it out it's definitely in bio it's astrolysics.com and so, let's get into these cards. So, if you chose card number one, we have Lepidolite. And it actually has like a golden sheen to it. And Lepidolite says, recall your dreams. Oh, what I was going to say also about Venus. Venus is not only love, but it is value, self-love, um how you like to receive love. So recall your dreams. Let's move these over here. Oh. Just split this deck. In recalling your dreams, make sure that, boom, I didn't even think about that that whatever it is that you are deciding to partake in um whatever you're moving forward on or intrigued about that you would like to perhaps deepen your relationship with it is overflowing your cup that whatever new thing comes in because the ace of cups talks about new uh opportunities blessings um around emotion and I think of fulfillment. And so, if this is for love, then potentially you can be creating a safe space for devotion, for deepening either your current relationship or maybe starting something new that will provide love that is unconditional and eternal okay it says a dedicated partner whose love is unconditional and eternal i also think of business partnerships that are super nurturing to you okay i need one more oh have faith i'm gonna read this for you trust and believe that love is here to stay this time around don't let fear or doubt intervene. Trust the divine. And I'll also say you might feel a little bit um, nostalgic or thinking back or, or yearning for things. And so what feels right will feel right. Don't give up just because, you know, it's been a minute or you've been waiting a long time, like... Be part of the love frequency that you are looking for. Um, photograph. So I also think if you have not been feeling your flyest, this is the season. 
right? Um, selfies, uh, mirror work, I would say. Um, it says, looking at your photos, missing you. Nostalgia, make new memories. So if there is somebody that you miss, and we're not talking about, you know, toxic, unhealthy relationships, but like people you are like, I haven't heard from so-and-so in a while. Give them a call. Go see them. Visit them. And um, that is for part one before I make it a whole, a whole entire reading. So make sure that fulfillment is first. Remember your dreams and the things that you have desired. All right. We're doing this live low key. So we have, um, and that was also rose quartz, which is, uh, we have a lot of it in the shop, but it's also the self-love and the, you know, the love stone. So we have Labradorite, which is a very intuitive, remember your magic stone. <laughs> I can't make it up, y'all. Set, see the magic. So card number two, see the magic. All right, literally put Labradorite on top of Labradorite. So if you have not been seeing the magic, reinvigorate that in your life again, okay? In all ways, like if you have been working more than you need to and you haven't enjoyed life in a long time, come on, like let's, let's do that again. Do the things that... You know, you've been missing or desired for a while to have fun, to be present in this world, whatever it is. Um, and so this says enchant an enchanted love, which is a sacred bond that is divinely guided and harmonious. So when you know, you know, do not question what you know, do not question the magic. Um, and I will ha I'll put down all the decks that I've used. I've been thinking about getting more of these, so let me know if that's something you're interested in. In the shop. Okay, Two of Swords. That's interesting. I'll pull one more card for clarity. Okay, so we have a story here. Um, some of you might be in between two different people, op opportunities, thought process, whatever. You're in between something. You are at a double crossroads because it's like two of pentacles and two of pentacles and two of swords. Two of swords has to do with decisions, but also um kind of ruminating or not knowing where to where to go or what to do next. And so we have this followed by two of pentacles. It can be around self-worth. It can be around work. It could be about things that you value <clears throat> or even two people. And so two of pentacles asks for you to outweigh the options. What will give you most ease? What will feel like magic? What will be enchanting for you? What will add more love to the life that you're living now okay let's see the final one and it's okay to let what no longer belongs or what no longer fits go this is coffin it says endings bring new beginnings growth change liberation and transition so it's okay that even though you do make a decision, something, there might be loss. The loss isn't yours. And that's it. That's all I got for, for number two. So um, you know the decision you need to make. It's just not an easy one. And that's okay. There is magic in letting go. And so that was card Number two, we are moving right along. And so we have Mahogany Obsidian, which is great for grounding and protection. The owl is wise anyway. Oh, turquoise. So 
Prioritize your health. If you have not been feeling good or you've just been kind of untapped into your to your body, to your world, it's time to refocus. Okay? For some folks, um, especially if it's a rising, it might be hitting your sixth house, which is of the body and of health. So if you've been ignoring things or you just know you fell off a little bit, it's okay to easily get back to um, adding some things that you know you need or just some a little bit of joyful movement. And so... We have the Father of Wands and the Ten of Cups. So, these matte cards are, are hard to move around. So, the first one is the Father of Wands. So, it might even be like time for sexy time. Whatever that means to you, it might also mean. Well, Father of Wands definitely gives me movement. Um, move your body. Go dance. Um, the other thing about movement is that it allows us to move hard feelings out of our body. It allows us to shake the day away. And so um, get a hold of your life and of your well-being. You have the capacity is what the Father of Wands is giving. Okay? And grow the muscle that you want to grow, be it of um, consistency, of an emotional, physical, or spiritual muscle is what I mean, so... You are resilient and you are capable. You have the capacity to do so. And with that, you have the Ten of Wands, which through your due diligence, through the hard work of movement, through um, not carrying every burden in the original right away, this is a little bit different, but not carrying every burden. You know through the wisdom of your body um, oh, that was Ten of Wands. This is Ten of Cups. I'm tripping. Mm -hmm. Emotional fulfillment is where it's at. The wisdom of your body is smarter than you think. Give it and honor it appropriately. Um, and you will get, get everything tenfold. You might feel, you know, better mental health-wise, going outside and sitting in the sun. All of these things might turn out more beneficial to you than you could even imagine. It might even give you the energy towards your relationships, give you new, just like more oxygen to do the things. So make sure it feels good for you. Don't do anything in a way of punishing the body. Be in awe of your body and not just physical body it's also the emotional body so um huh oh we got some heavy things going on here jeez maybe i should uh shuffle these let's see so cautionary tales i will say be mindful of sabotage um this could be a time of rebuilding of interrogation, being curious about ourselves. Um, repetitive, persistent, I would think of creating um, rituals or a practice of wellness while working on it. So being mindful of not sabotaging yourself or not being sabotaged. Um, empath and nar narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enable boundaries. So... Um, that could also be with yourself, right? Like sometimes um, we're so focused on our relationships with ourself that we, oh, this came out, that we miss out on what has been fulfilling us um, because it's not the way that we want it to be or we're not where we want to be or we've been through a lot of heartbreak or what have you and think that's all that we're going to encounter and through healing 
ourselves because health i also think of mental health it's mental health awareness month um you might find commitment in all things right this is partnership engagement partnership commitment eternity completion and union so something dope is going to come make sure your body is ready and that is your reading mutables and um if anything resonates or check back after this month and let me know how it went and so tell a homie share it with a homie um subscribe like all the things and i will see you next time thank you